Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade. Today we're going to be taking a look at an open reversal trade here. Really, really big rejection at the open on the NASDAQ. Uh, so our stop is going to go below here, 44.77. Uh, we're going to go to 76 and three quarter. I'm going to place a sell stop there for three contracts. Uh, now the long side of things, we're looking to the upside with the first target coming off at 45.01 half. Now I don't want to put it right on that level. 45.01 even seems pretty good. We're going to take two off there uh, for an extended move up and then the final move is going to be a big runner if we can get it. Uh, this is one of those that, you know, if, if it goes, it goes. If it doesn't, well, it doesn't, and then we just take our stop. But I'm looking for a final target, 45.13. Uh, we're going to go to 25 here, and we'll place our final runner upside uh, right there. So the big thing right now, the way that this is looking in terms of the NASDAQ, we've got a halfway decent kind of channel working its way up, but you can see it's not the prettiest looking thing in the world. Um, if you put it up on the highs, nothing else really touches it. But the big thing to note here is as soon as the open hit, it dumped. Like, it just hammered lower. And then after that big, big, huge selling pressure... It couldn't get any farther, and then it closed back up again. So this just screams to me that they were trying to either limit in on a bigger position, you know, whether they were looking to buy a couple thousand down here, or they were just trying to trap out some of the previous folks that maybe had their sell stops down here. Either way, we have a big, big rejection on the NASDAQ back to the upside. So that's how I'm going to be trading it. I'm long right now. As soon as that candle closed, drop a limit order right on it. 44.86 and three quarters where I got my fill and then looking back up to the upside. So if we can get this push back up again, I'm looking to take that first target off again, two off up there at 4501. It's going to be 14 and a quarter points. Now it's two contracts that we're taking off there. So we're looking just shy of 30 points there in the first one. Now the second one is kind of the Hail Mary. Again, that's just a big runner. If you do get a big reversal like this, sometimes you can pull these big moves out. And if it does push up to that level, then we're looking at 4513 and a quarter. And that's going to pull out 26 and a half points just by itself. Uh, so overall, again, if you're unfamiliar with the NASDAQ, the way that it ticks is just like the, the S&P. P500 is an example. It ticks in quarters. So every one point is four ticks. So 14 and a quarter points times two plus another 26 and a half points. That's 55 points. So times four means that that's 220 ticks if we can get those filled. NASDAQ's a little bit cheaper in that it ticks $5 uh, per tick. So that's going to be $1,100 if we can push all the way up here. So it doesn't matter. Even though it ticks 5 bucks a tick, you can still get a massive trade out of it uh, in terms of profitability. So don't be too shy around the $5 markets. They can really give you some good moves. Uh, right now, we're seeing that failure. We're just looking for that continuation, looking for the target up at 4501 first, then the second target coming off at 4513 and a quarter. So we'll be back in a little bit. Uh, it might take a little bit of time for this one to get going. Uh, uh, we did just open up. We are seeing a big amount of volume coming in, which gives us a decent amount of volatility, but we're still on a five-minute chart, so it can take a little bit of time. Uh, overall, looking for that first target up at 4501. We'll move our stop to break even like normal, and then we'll look to continue up to 4513 quarter if it wants to give it to us. So we'll be back in a little bit. Maybe not. <laughs> and we'll see how we do. All right, edging up. Oh, I don't know. There we go. We got our target filled. So we're edging up on that first target. We got that filled at 4501 without much of a problem at all, smashing right through these channel highs, not even thinking about it, really. Uh, so let's adjust our stop. One contract is left on the table. Stop's going to go to break even here. Uh, and now we're just looking for that final runner. It's sort of the Hail Mary, if you will. Sometimes these days, when you get those big open reversals like that, where it just traps everyone on the wrong side of it, they have to get stopped out. And then, you know, they see this big move and they start jumping in. So more and more and more and more buy orders keep hitting the tape over and over and you get these huge reversals to the upside so i'm going to see if i can play this big reversal and look for that bigger target up at 4513 if it wants to go there's definitely no guarantee in that so because of that depending on how the candles are setting up here we may want to consider trailing along with this move just to be safe you don't want to give really anything back on this one and actually because we're getting that continued pressure up, I'm going to go under right underneath this candle here, and we're just going to drop it at 44.98 and a half. That way, if it comes back and it whips us out, we still pull out a really nice chunk of profit. We're still pulling out, in this case, uh, 11 and 3, almost 12 points just on our stop. So that's just kind of the way that it's setting up. You do have to kind of take it as it comes. Uh, you know, it might not run all the way up to 45.13 and a quarter. We're never going to know until it actually does it or doesn't do it. So because of that, we're going to lock our stop in where we can uh, because we're 
we're aggressively breaking out of the channel highs, I want to lock my stop in as well, just in case it does come back and want to test that channel. And I, I just don't want to give back all of that profit. Uh, so we're locked our stop in 44, 98 and a half. We'll see if this can push higher. Uh, we are getting a big, big chunk of bullish continuation pressure. This is what we wanted to see. Uh, so if we can hit that 45, 13 and a quarter, we'll be sitting on a really nice chunk of change. Then we've already got locked in a really good, uh, really good piece of profit. So now just looking for a little bit more continuation. See if we can hit that Hail Mary and lock in a big old runner to uh, to start the day off here on the NASDAQ. So we'll be back in a little bit. See if we can get that target. All right, pushing up into the target. And there we go. We got that filled. Wow, what a runner. Beautiful, beautiful trade. Let me close that really quick here. So the overall setup was pretty straightforward. It's nothing fancy. You're just, you've got this big old opening conviction here that was all selling pressure that got immediately nullified right back up again. That's just a big trap. Uh, again, there might have been someone down here from Goldman Sachs or whatever, just, you know, pounding out a thousand contracts. I don't know that, but this just smells like a trap, especially with as bullish as we've been going up into that. So because of that, uh, I like that long trade there, just limiting in on that close, pushing it all the way back up. And we ended up getting that big old runner up to the upside. So end of the day, just hugely so far in the NASDAQ, just a beautiful run higher. Uh, that locks in a massive move. Again, we were talking about it before, the way that it kind of ticks and all that. We locked in 55 points. Uh, so that's $1,100 on the trade at only $5 a tick with only three contracts. You can't really argue with that. So that's going to be the trade. Beautiful move. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. Don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com. And as always, we'll catch you next time.